Now we have enough space there to be able to rotate this plate and change the pretension. Hello and welcome to the video. This will be about tuning the suspension of this Kukirin G2 Pro scooter, which has coil spring suspension on the back wheel and also on the front wheel. If you are interested in content like this, please like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. So let's dive in. This coil spring suspension is set up quite hard by factory. I'm 73 kilograms and if I stand on it, not much moves. It's very hard. The thing is, there's a coil spring inside like this one, but it's already pre-tensioned. So it begins moving from this position and it's very hard from there. Very similar to this Lego suspension part. You see, this is the same principle as the suspension in the scooter is working. There's a coil spring, you can press it together, but it's already pre-tensioned by not letting it get out to its full length. So the same applies here, but the pre-tensioning is made by this plate here, which has a thread underneath. So if you rotate this plate, then you can loosen or tighten the pretension of the spring. Actually, if you rotate it this way to the left, then it will move up the thread and loosen the pretension. Before we start, please don't blame me if you break anything on your scooter or lose warranty. Do everything only on your own risk. In order to access the plate with a tool, you need to remove this plastic part, which is held by four small screws screws here and here and on the other side and if you remove the screws then you can simply get out this plate there is the the place of the screws now we have enough space there to be able to rotate this plate and change the pretension there are specialized tools to do that but i don't have them so i'm just using this plumber tool to grab the plate and move it. It rotates. Not very easy to rotate, but it does. And it loosens. Now I'm loosening it, turning to the left, so that my son has a more comfortable suspension, who is 40 kilos and will be better lighter. Watch out not to loosen it too far, because then it will the plate will come off the thread and the whole thing will get out, out of each other. So let's see where I changed. I can stand on it now and it's much more, much softer. You see, I barely stand on it and it already compresses. So it's actually much more comfortable. I just throated at this plate enough to come up around two millimeters or something like that on the thread. And now I have a much softer suspension. If you turn it the other way, then it will compress the spring or pretense the spring more and the suspension will get harder. If you are heavy, above 100 kilograms or something, and you want it harder, then you can press it together and then you get a harder suspension. Specialized tools exist which you can put on this plate from, up, from above and rotate it with it, so it's, you don't have to use plumber tools like I did, but I don't have any of them, so I just help myself. And I use this cloth on the tool so that I don't get too much paint off this plate. So let's leave it there. Now it's quite soft for me, a little too soft for me, but my son will try it and we will see how it works out. Now we are ready. Let's put this thing back there. Let's put it on in place and put back the screws. 
watch out, these are self-cutting screws, so, so there is no thread in the hole initially, and you have to put it back correctly so that uh, the thread in the plastics doesn't break. It's quite easy to break the thread. Don't pull it too tight, just with very little force. Where are the other screws? Try to fit it in the pre-existing thread, so that you don't break it. Okay. Other side. It should get in easily. If you if you find the existing thread. Yes, that's it. We are done. For the front wheel, the same should be possible. You have also this plate which can be rotated and the thread above there, but the whole space is much tighter. So with my tool, it is not really possible to do that. Unless I unscrew the whole suspension and get it out, and rotate it then, but I, I'm not really ready to do that. It is quite complicated. And I think for the comfort, the back part is much more important. So again, only do this on your own risk. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment if you have anything to say about it. And until next time, bye bye.